Welcome guys to my first ever tutorial. Today I'm gonna show you how to add finger colliders, finger colliders to your real type fan game. This is not like colliders so people can walk on it. This is this kind of thing. Because I see a lot of real type fan games who doesn't have this. And it's so annoying to type your name in. So this is what it does. See? Once yeah. It's supposed to be at the wrist, see? If I turn on Gizmo, this is where the collider is in other fan games. But for me, I added finger colliders, and I'm going to show you how I did that in today's tutorial. So, this is actually my player model. My friend made it for me, so do not say that I ripped it, kept it monkey mischief. It's not. It's not. This is, this is fully my model skinned. Beta monkey model, the person who made it for me. Beta, I'll leave his Discord server game in the description. Okay, so we're gonna start off with the right hand, okay? This, it's easier. I could just do this and now I have it easy peasy. But yeah, no. So you wanna create a cube because this is the easier way, okay? I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna make you guys suffer and do the hard way. But turn on the mesh render for now. This is like gonna be the collider, but we're gonna make it so you can't see it in a game. Uh, and then you just wanna duplicate it, put it down to the other finger. If you want it to be on the other finger. Once you have those, uh, you, wanna, you wanna name them colliders and turn off the mesh render. So now you can't see it, but if I turn on gizmo, you can see where the collider is. Turn it off for now because it's annoying. Now once you have both of them selected, uh, you could do this by pressing shift and select the other, the other one. You want to press control C, and then control V. You want to put it on the left hand. I turn on gizmo again, or you could just turn on the mesh render. Put it all the way to the other hand, just to save up some time. By the way, put in the comments what you want me to do a tutorial. I could do any tutorial. This is easy. Except for finger movement, okay? I cannot do that. Okay, now, once you got both of your colliders done, you're going to be like, oh my god, it works. And you start up the game. And your movement is going to be so bad. How to fix that? is uh the offline player it's locomotion enabled what it means like anything that has the layer of default you can walk on it only if it has a collider though which our fingers does so what we do is we're gonna cut uh, we're gonna go back to this we're gonna go to this and we're gonna make a new layer call it anything not walkable like you you want to make it not walkable and once not walkable is selected, you want to make sure uh, that it's not over here. Like, you don't have it selected as a check mark. Uh, okay, now once you have everything done, this is, by the way, a test cube. If it turns red, that means the collider works. Because sometimes I'm not sure. My computer's kind of bad, so of course it's going to be laggy. But if you see here, it worked. It turned red. And yeah. In the next tutorial, I'm going to show you how to, like, you know, make it red and white back again. Thank you for watching my tutorial. All my socials, I guess, is going to be in the description. I don't know, maybe. Thank you for watching.